Welcome to Tools and My Tools. This is another video on the distributive property, but in this session, we're working with distributing our coefficient to unlike terms. And if you're ready to see how this is done, let's get started. So in our expression today, we are going to be distributing our coefficient to unlike terms. And again, remember if this is your first time here, we're going to go through the first example, just going through the steps to make sure that you know how to apply the distributive property. And remember that we are distributing 5e to both of the terms in our parentheses. So we're not distributing just five or distributing just E. We're distributing that term as a whole. So we have five E being multiplied to six and then added to the product of five E times R. Now in this particular session, we're going to be applying two different rules because we have one where we have numbers that can be simplified which is and then which is our six and our five so i'm going to write that expression out in its expanded form so that you can see how to simplify that term so we have five e five times e times six i remember that we can multiply the numbers together so six times five will equal to 30 and 30 will be multiplied to e which will equal to 30e. So once we have simplified that part of our question, we're going to plug that back in. And remember here with our 5e times r, since all of these terms are unlike, that means we're just simply going to be combining them together. And this will be our expression in its simplified form. So remember that we don't work out or we don't simplify unlike terms, so that will be our answer. Now before I begin simplifying the second part of our, or our second example, feel free to pause the video, work out the question for yourself, and then when you're ready, you can unpause the video and work out with me to see if you and I got the exact same answer. And remember that in the second example, I'm just going to go straight to the answer. So 11f is being distributed to 6 and it's also being distributed to our minus a. And we have already went through all of the steps in the first one. So remember that in our first one, we will be multiplying 6 times 11, which will equal to 66. And returning our variable f. And that will be minus in. We're going to put our letters back. Remember, everything here is unlike terms. So 11f minus times minus a will equal to 11. Put our f back and put our a. And this will be our expression in its simplified form. So remember that the more that you practice these questions, the less that you're going to actually have to go through so much of the working because you're going to become more familiar with the rules, more familiar with what should and shouldn't be done and how it should be done, that you're going to be able to skip through all of the long, tedious working and then arrive at your answer. But again, remember that comes with practice. So I hope this was helpful to you and I hope you are developing your skills and becoming better. And we'll see you right here in the next video.